Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 53rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can create a table in a MySQL database using Microsoft Excel. So for this you would be requiring a plugin called MySQL for Excel and uh, it's something that you can download for free and of course you need to have Microsoft Excel installed on your systems too, right? So uh, I've got an Excel worksheet open up here and uh, in this worksheet I've got some uh, data. I've got uh, a, a column or a field called sports underscore ID here in the cell A1 and then I've got uh, another field called uh, sports underscore name here uh, in the cell B1 and then I've got four values for uh, the field sports underscore ID and I've got four values for the field sports underscore name, right? So tennis has the ID 1, basketball has the ID 2, football has the ID 3 and cricket has the ID 4. So now let's say I want to create a table called sports which has these values and I want to you know store that table in a database uh, that I have already created in MySQL right so if you guys remember uh, a couple of tutorials ago we created a database called uh, student right uh, using my MySQL workbench and uh, we want to create a table called sports with these uh, values and we want to store that table in that database so I'm assuming that you have uh, MySQL for Excel already installed so what you'll have to do is you know once you've created uh, this table in Excel you'll have to go to data right the data tab and then at the top right corner you know somewhere here you'll see a button called MySQL for Excel so you'll have to click on that and uh, when you click on it you know it asks you to select a, a database right so I've already selected a database object I've selected the student database so you know, I'm not seeing that menu I've actually you know uh, I'm on the next step and uh, then in here it tells you you know uh, it gives you a bunch of options it tells you you know if you want to create a new table then you can click on uh, this link if you want to import data from uh, an existing table in MySQL then you can click on uh, this link if you want to edit data in, in an existing table then you can click here so you want to create a new table so that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, you know click on this and uh, it's asking me uh, well actually before that let me cancel this I'll have to select the data here in Excel right so I'll select all these uh, values and now I'll click on export Excel data to new table so when I do that it asks me to provide a name for the table so as I said we're going to call it sports so I'll type in sports here and then it tells me uh, you know that I have to have one field out of the two fields as the primary key for the table so if you want to use an existing field you know like in this case I have sports underscore ID field which is taking different values for each row in the table so you know I can use this field as a primary key if suppose you have a table in which uh, you don't have such a field then you can actually create another field which is uh, going to like store serial numbers for the rows and uh, you know you can add a primary key column but I'm going to you know select this radio button which uh, says use existing column and uh, you have to make sure that sports underscore ID is selected here the next thing that you uh, might want to check is when you select a field you can uh, check its properties right so sports underscore ID is going to take integer values so you should see integer in the data type here and you should also see that the primary key checkbox is checked for this field and uh, when you click on the sports underscore name field you see its property so you know the column name is sports underscore name and the data type is varchar12 and uh, if suppose you want to increase the you know character limit for uh, this particular field uh, to 15 you know you can uh, change 12 to 15 and if you also want to add more properties like you know you want this field to always have unique values and you can uh, you know check on the unique uh, index here right but I'm just going to do this much and then I'm going to click on export data and when I do that I get this uh, message that the table was created successfully so I'm going to click on OK to close the dialog box and now when I go to my MySQL workbench and uh, you know I'll have to refresh once and uh, if I type in uh, show tables and press the control enter key I get uh, the sports table here in the list and I can actually see the data in the table by executing a select star query so select star from the name of the table is sports when I press control enter I see all these values right one two three four in sports name tennis basketball football cricket 
So people who use MySQL these days uh, really like using Excel along with MySQL because you know Excel allows you to get data from MySQL tables and then quickly prepare reports. So you know if you're working for a company wherein you know you have to work with uh, huge amounts of data and you have to you know summarize data or you know um, apply functions that are not available in MySQL or if you just want to you know generate charts or reports then uh, MySQL for Excel is a wonderful plugin and you know even if you haven't used uh, MySQL before you know but you are familiar with the uh, Microsoft Excel then you know this is actually a good place to start from so uh, you can download this plugin install it and just experiment with it it's really cool and it works very efficiently right so that's it for this tutorial I'm going to see you in the next video in which uh, we'll continue our discussion on uh, how you can use MySQL and PHP to do some exciting stuff and uh, I hope you guys like this and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already see you soon till then take care